So in this video, I am going to illustrate how we can do a simple example with 40 gate firewall to do macro segmentation uh, using firewall as the gateway for your network. And that way you will have everything that's traversing the firewall would actually require a policy to traverse and reach the destination of you know your network so here now what you got is this diagram you got macro segmentation with 40 gate firewall so here's my 40 gate firewall what we're going to do is on port 2 you have a trunk configured with VLAN 10 and 20. And this is my wrist to switch. That's got E3 as trunk, allowing VLAN 10 and 20. And then E1 and E2 connected to VIOS. Each VIOS is configured with this address and the gateway address, which is going to be here. So this gateway address is the VLAN address of VLAN 10 and VLAN 20. Now, each time the traffic goes, it, it you know, in a typical network, your L3 switch is the gateway. But if you want to do macro segmentation, your gateway would become the firewall, not the L3 switch. So now your gateway here is going all the way to the firewall to move from here the way like this makes sense all right so let's go and check out our firewall configuration let me just show you all the configuration one by one here's my vios it's got 10 one one configured and it's got the gateway configured as 10.1.1.10 right here. 21.1.1, and the gateway is configured to be 21.1.10. 21.1.10, so we got the two devices configured. Our ISTA switch is right here. And it's got show run interface E1 is configured with VLAN 10 as an access port. VLAN 20 for Ethernet 2 port. And Ethernet 3 is configured as trunk. Allowed VLANs 10 and 20, trunk. That's about it. That's an L2 switch here now. Connecting to VOS 1 and 2. And then we're gonna configure trunk VLAN, trunk port on the firewall, configure VLAN 10 and 20 on this trunk and the IP addresses. So let's go and take a look at that. I've already configured the policies and everything. So now I can actually traverse like this. So I've got a policy going Let's go to the firewall, our macro segmentation firewall. And it's going to look like the policy is straightforward. You got two policies, V1 to V2, V2 to V1, source destinations, and all that good stuff. We can delete that and recreate that. But let's, more importantly, let's look at the trunk interface. So what you do is you're going to go and create an interface and then you're going to create a VLAN interface and here you're going to put the 10 and then not create another VLAN interface with 20 and then put port 2 in it in both of them and that's port 2 becomes your trunk that's all you got to do and put an IP address so port 2 is your trunk see the plus sign 10 and 20 is 
tagged. And this is your trunk board and your IP addresses are on VLAN 10 and 20, 10, 1, 1, 10, 10, 20, 1, 1, 10. And your firewall is ready for macro segmentation. Now, after this, essentially all you gotta do is create policies. So if I delete, or not delete, just say, disable v1 to v2, v1 stops, disable v2 to v1, v2 stops. Enable it, this guy goes on, start scan. Enable this guy. This will start ping again. So that is pretty straightforward macro segmentation with FortiGate firewall. All you gotta do is create a trunk port, create policies for all your network subnets. Remember macro segmentation is different subnets. So here we got 10.1.1 and 21.1. So you can only do macro segmentation between different subnets for similar segment similar VLANs, you gotta do micro segmentation. There are tons loads of solutions. One of the videos I put out there with the, is with uh, Arista switch itself, but it doesn't have any policies. It's just isolation. So that's a quick reference or guide to show you or illustrate to you how macro segmentation is done. Hope this helps.